this is puzzle for today let's see how many of you can solve this write your answer in the comment box hello friends welcome to this lecture in this lecture we are going to discuss the subspace of r2 r2 is nothing but a set of all x comma y where x and y are real number and the operation is defined like this then this set with this two operation becomes a vector space over r in this class we will be discussing the subspace of this r2 okay so we know what the r2 is it is nothing but our xy plane so this is nothing but my r2 the set r2 how it looks like in our 9 10 right so we know if this is an r2 and i just want to find out the subspace of r2 we will be talking about the standard subspaces suppose i talk about the lines a straight lines can this line suppose i give it the name l can this line be a subspace of r2 if it is a subspace it satisfy all those 10 properties because subspace is nothing but inside a bigger space there is a smaller vector space correct so if this line is a subspace that means this line is satisfying all those 10 properties under this operation that means it must satisfy the property of addition identity also that means there exist an element on to this line on this line such that if i add that element with any other point on this line then the answer is same so do there exist some line which satisfy that property do there exist some point on this line which satisfy that property yes no we know that the only such point existing is 0 comma 0 that means a line which is not passing through origin cannot be a subspace of r2 since it is not forming a vector space on its own because if it is a subspace then it become a vector space correct subspace is nothing but a smaller vector space since it is not becoming a vector space it cannot be a subspace of r2 if you want to see this algebraically then let us just try to see we know that the equation of line can be given by ax plus by is equal to c if my c is not equal to 0 then this equation is an equation of line not passing through origin correct so this is an equation of line not passing through origin i just want to see can it be a subspace can it be a subspace of r2 under the given defined operation clearly it is not since we know 0 comma 0 which is an identity which is not inside it hence it cannot be but we can see the same thing in a different format for an example suppose the points on it are on the line l so i define the set l is the thing but set of all x comma y such that my ax plus by is equal to c correct so l represent set of all point on this line now i just consider two point suppose i consider xy comma pq from this line l and now i add them after adding them i get this adding right this is our operation so this thing is it an element of l it will be an element of l if it satisfy that property correct now i need to check this is an element of l or not so this is an element of l if i substitute on the place of x this on this place of y this i should get my answer as c but you will observe that if you substitute then your answer will be ax plus by plus ap plus bq what it will be can you tell me my ax plus by this is same as c since my x comma y is an element of l it satisfy this property similarly my p comma q is an element of l hence this part also becomes c so this is equal to 2c correct 
so we clearly see that if my c is not equal to zero even the addition is not binary that means if i take any two points on that line and the operation is not closed under that line that means we observe that under r2 the only possibilities of a subspace are nothing but the line passing through origin means if this is my r2 then only those line which are passing through origin can be work as a subspace other line which are not passing through origin cannot be a subspace of it the simple reason is 0 comma 0 is not an element of it or if you want to go in detail you can also tell that addition is not binary but now we need to prove now we know line passing through origin are possible but we will prove that they are a subspace of r2 so what i define as i define the set l now our new set l is nothing but set of all x comma y such that ax plus by is equal to zero that means this represent a line passing through origin now i want to prove this is a subspace of r2 correct i want to show that my l is subspace of r2 correct so for this i need to show it is non empty we know that 0 comma 0 is definitely a point of this hence my l this small l is non empty it is also subset of r2 since it has two coordinates correct so it is non empty subset of r2 now what i consider is now i consider for any alpha inside r and i consider any two points from l suppose i consider x comma y uh, or x1 y1 x2 y2 from l now can you tell me what we will be proving after this yes we will be proving alpha w1 that means x1 y1 plus w2 that is x2 y2 is an also an element of l that is to show that right if i add them what i get is alpha x1 plus x2 comma alpha y1 plus y2 it is an element of l if this will be an element of l if it satisfies this equation correct okay? so let us just consider the lhs of it the lhs is a alpha x1 plus x2 plus b alpha y1 plus y2 can you just prove it for me it is equal to zero yes can i give you a hint hint is something but you have just have to split it then after that you know this property by using this you will be able to prove the answer is equal to zero hence by our theorem we can conclude that any line which is passing through origin is nothing but subspace of r2 and any other line which is not passing through origin cannot be a subspace of r2 okay and after that if we extend our idea then the same idea can be extended to r3 that means in r3 in r3 with the same operation okay in the r3 suppose i define the set p b equal to x y z such that my a x plus b y plus c z is equal to zero means i have considered a plane which is passing through origin correct since i have considered zero on the other side you can prove any plane which is passing through origin is nothing but any plane which is passing through origin is nothing but a subspace of r3 and also if over here i consider d and d is not equal to zero then in the similar pattern as r2 you will be able to show that the given set whatever set you consider suppose you consider p dash p dash this is this set is not a subspace the one reason will be that this 0 0 0 is not an element of p1 also in the same pattern you will be writing that the addition is not binary so in this small video we are learning that subspace of r2 are nothing but the line passing through origin and the subspace of r3 are nothing but the plane passing through r3 one simple note we are just considering the standard subspace 
okay if i consider the 0 comma 0 comma 0 this is also a subspace of earth i am just telling the which kind of plane can be a subspace of earth there might exist some other subspace of r3 and r2 but in terms of a line or a plane only those who pass through region can work as a subspace okay thank you so much for watching this video bye bye